Hey guys, have you ever had a uh, tail light that wasn't working, needed a blinker fix, it's not working, running light, whatever. Well today if you've got a Corolla, you're in luck. I'm going to show you how to replace this if we need to, and I'm also going to show you how to um, change out the bulbs. Now, uh, our information is here to try to help you get along and save you and your family some money for your do-it-yourselfers. And all products that we are going to be looking at, including these light bulbs or lenses, will be uh, available on our description in the list if you need them. Meanwhile, we hope to earn a uh, subscription from you guys. If you would sub, that would be awesome. Follow me on Instagram if you need to get in touch with me immediately. I'm on it every day. I love Instagram. Meanwhile, let's get busy. Let's get right after it. So the first thing, before I put you on a tripod... We're going to have three little fasteners that hold this bad boy in. I'm going to put my finger on the first one. Looks like a Phillips head. And then way back here on the bottom, there's the other one. It's a Phillips head. Then this big guy right here that's just a flathead. So just hang tight real quick and let me see what I can actually get you set up so you can see this a little better. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to need to do is gain a little bit of access. So let me just put my theory in to test. Try not to block your video. Like I said, it's a Phillips head. I don't know how good the lighting is, but it just pops out a little bit. And you take a flat head. Go ahead and take her on out. There we go. Now, let me switch to the other one here. See, my eyesight's not that good anymore, guys. Let's see if I can find that bad boy. You just need it to come out a little bit because it's basically kind of like a twist rivet. This is these little cheap plastic things they use. Just got to get this thing separated. When I get this off, I'll show you guys exactly how it looks. All right, probably can't see that real well, but let's go get this sucker out of here. Oops, I thought it would stay in there, but it didn't. It went in and popped out. Um, okay. Okay, this has got some uh, little glue on it or what have you. Meanwhile, where's my hair is? All right, guys, here we go. This is how this thing works. Let's just show you real quick. This is what we got here: a little Phillips head, and she just twists out. You see on the other end, it's just a pop out. So it just pops out. So if you can just get it right there, that's why it, when I pulled the panel out, she just kind of flew out a little bit. But anyway, it just uh, when you go to put it back in, you just put this piece in first, and then you can just use a Phillips head stick it right there and pop it back in. Meanwhile, the other one should have held just a little bit better than I thought it would. This is your third piece. It's just basically sitting on one of these screws kind of like yo and it just kind of pulls itself off no big deal now let's see if we can actually see what's going on here I don't think you got that good of a view let me see if we can change that okay cool almost got a view guys just hang on Look at this handy old camera work here. Okay, all right. Um, so to slide this in and out, this is a 210 millimeters. I'm sure there's a third one. There it is. Let me get this out of your way so you can definitely see it. It's all these little jobs that are always such a pain. Um, so one, two, three right here. And as far as getting any of the bulbs out, no problem. They're just going to be a little twist. Once you, uh, let's see if I can get something out of here. Let's just start with this big one. So, see it just twist out. And then uh, you just kind of wiggle it. Don't put too much pressure on it. And she should come out. There it goes. Um, let's see. 3157, that's a standard bulb. That's going to be your brake light. Uh, 
I believe. I'd have to hit the brake, but I'm pretty sure I see the double element. And they're all kind of like that. You just twist them, pull out, wiggle them. This is a single element right here, so that's telling me that uh, y'all probably want to know what size that is. Oh, 3156. So 56 and 57. And then uh, I'm sure we got one more right here. There that is. Um, see if I can read it. Guys, this is part of getting old. You can't see it anymore. Anyway, the parts store, the parts store, the parts store will have that for you. And um, all of mine are actually working right now. As dark as that is, it's unbelievable, but they are. I just wanted to do this video on it because uh, a lot of people ask how to um, change out their light bulbs or if they got a rear brake light so um, if you break this lens like I said it's three 10 millimeter bolts it slides out and this is just a quick tutorial to show you there's not really a whole lot to it the average person could probably do this in maybe five to ten minutes no big deal and uh, a lot of the parts places will actually come out and change the light bulb for you I actually seen someone getting their uh, bulb changed out the other day at O'Reilly's which I thought was pretty cool um, Meanwhile, nothing but love from the car, man. I'm going to go ahead and roll. By the way, I hope you all are following me on Instagram. I'm trying to put out new tips every day. And um, if you'll stay tuned, I'm going to go ahead and get this, um, the third light. I'm going to show you how to take this out and change it. And just for the record, when you go to install these, you just kind of feel around. It's, they're only, they only go in one way. They have different size little uh, cutouts on it. So you just follow those. And sometimes it takes a second, but especially me upside down trying to do this. I think I just got this one. Anyway, you kind of get the idea. And of course, actually, I kind of got to come stand where the camera's at to do this because it's killing my wrist. I'm going to put this one out of the way first. Anyway, guys, if there's anything you need to know about this little Corolla, I'd be glad to help you. Uh... There we go. Hold on. I had that one. Okay, I got to get to where the camera's at. But anyway, you get the basic idea, and we're moving on. And hope you enjoyed that. And if maybe not enjoyed it, maybe it helps you. But we are on our way to the third brake light. Nothing but love, man. See you guys on the next one. See ya.